डियर स्टूडेंट्स विथ रेफरेंस टू द नॉन अलाइनमेंट मोमेंट टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू टीच यू द रोल ऑफ पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू यू नो डियर ही इज मेन आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ द नेम एंड थ्री फाउंडिंग फादर ऑफ नेम आई हैव ऑल्सो टॉट यू फर्स्ट नेम वॉज पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू सेकेंड नेम मार्शल जोसेफ ब्रांज टीटो एंड थर्ड नेम आई हैव मैंसनड नासिर प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इजिप्ट सो थ्री मेन आर्किटेक्ट आर फाउंडिंग फादर ऑफ नेम वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड फर्स्ट नेम इज पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू आवर फर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर कॉस्मोपोलिटन पर्सनैलिटी ही हैड इनॉर्मस रोल इन नेम एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन द रोल ऑफ पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू द नॉन एलाइंड मोमेंट द नॉन एलाइन द नॉन एलाइन मोमेंट ओज अ लॉट ऑफ लॉट टू द फर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू इन फैक्ट इंडिया वॉज द फर्स्ट कंट्री टू इनिशिएट द पॉलिसी ऑफ नॉन एलाइनमेंट अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ नेहरू नेहरू हैड डिक्लेयर इन द अमेरिकन कांग्रेस इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन by his statement you can we can understand the main meanings the theme of name i am going to read this one in 1949 in american congress he stated what was his original statement i am going to teach you please slowly slowly i'll read this one please write down this one where freedom is menaced meaning when where freedom will be violated or freedom will be disturbed or justice is threatened means if justice is in danger or where aggression takes place we cannot be and shall not be neutral meaning it is not a policy of neutrality it is policy of active participation in the world affairs if anywhere injustice is going on or aggression is going on or freedom is menaced in all three circumstances nehru has stated that in american congress we cannot be or shall not be we shall not be neutral means it is not a policy of neutrality it is a policy of active participants participant is world affairs our policy is not neutralist but one of the active endeavor to preserve and if possible establish peace on firm foundation meaning is there the name has been established because the notion is there at each and every cost any rate peace must be preserved and ju if justice will be threatened non aligned moment will raise question if freedom will be menaced then non aligned moment will raise question means the the is the motto was to create universal peace in and security amongst the nation pandit nehru was visionary he realized that the greater danger to the sovereignty and integrity of india and other newly independent nations of asia and africa lay in the joining any of any of two powerful blocks he called upon these countries to keep themselves away from the politics of two opposition camps which had already brought about two world wars see his approach because world had seen two world war i have already taught you in during first world war i have taught you world had been divided into hostile group triple entity and triple alliance and after that what happened first world war occurred after first world war again world had been divided into hostile group already i have taught you in second world war axis power and allied power and what was the result the result was there fear apprehension international tension and disaster many innocent people died means after both world war world intellectuals were were worried that's why united nation came to existence 
पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू वाज आल्सो विजनरी पर्सनालिटी कॉस्मोपोलिटन ही वाज नॉट थिंकिंग फॉर ओनली इंडियंस ही ही वाज थिंकिंग फॉर रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आल्सो ही वाज थिंकिंग फॉर टोटल ह्यूमैनिटी दैट्स वाई हिस्टोरियंस गिव ए नेम ही वॉज हिज अप्रोच वॉज कॉस्मोपोलिटन इट वॉज ए नेहरू who gradually led the country of asia and africa towards the concept of the non alignment he convinced these countries that they had great moral force and with their collective efforts could exert pressure on the issue of the war and peace it was his confirmation of his view that he along with joseph brown's tito of ego uh, ego sulaya and jamal abdul nasir of egypt shawin lai of china ho chi min of vietnam and kamare nuruk of ghana led the badang conference the decision taken at the badang conference were given a final shape at belgrade in 1956 hence here it was decided to form an organization of a newly independent country nascent country means earlier these countries were the colony of in, in, uh, england or france or other european country and very soon they they became independent nation so sovereignty should be tested them own self if they will be follower of any of powerful blocks so they will not enjoy their sovereignty <laughs> nehru was acknowledged at the greatest spokesman for neut- for neutrality of asian and african states in the cold war era opposing the policy of alignment nehru said by aligning aligning ourselves with any of powerful you surrender your opinion give up the policy you would normally pursue because somebody else want you to pursue another policy i don't i do not think that it would be a right policy for us to adopt means openly he criticized means we are sovereign nation our policy we will make how uh, other powerful blocks will make our policy through nehru was committed to western concept of the liberalism and democracy he did not approve the military or economic alliances like nato cto cto initiated by the usa and contain and contain communist or the ones promoted by the soviet union like versailles pact and comin form and comcon so again going to tissue three nato cto cto nato cto and c2 were the army organizations of american block and russian block had three organization okay versailles pact comin form and comicorn so three three are there underline this one he opposed these alliances as he believed that they encouraged colonialism imperialism and were likely to produce a race of armament i have taught you earlier non al moment criticized colonialism imperialism and armament okay disarmament means favor of disarmament and criticized ar- uh, race of armament nehru was against the philosophy of philosophy advocated by the two powerful blocks he rejected the communist state as a monolithic means it is old one not relevant today and described marxist as a outdated theory he did not favor capitalism either and was influenced by the socialism he therefore strongly advocated the principle of democratic socialism means democrat democracy also required socialism also required means welfare state concept first time came in his mind ki if democratic nation will be there so they will boost up the requirement of the needy people maximum amenity will be provided to needy people his policy of non alignment however was not meant to promote a third block but ensure freedom of decision making of the recently colonized states thus under the Steve Watson of the Nehru Indian played an important role in spreading the message of name India prompted promoted the cause of the freedom of many country like Asia and Africa which, which were still under the foreign domination Nehru was against the policy of apartheid apartheid just i have discussed racial discrimination belong 
being followed in south africa this that's why in india is sponsored a resolution in un in 1962 calling upon the member nation to take diplomatic and economic steps against the south africa and to force her to give up the policy of racial discrimination nehru was against the mad race of armament and called for disarmament and abolition of stock piles of the nuclear weapons it was pursuance of his policy of disarmament india signed a treaty in 1963 for banning atomic test more than 5 decades after nehru's death india is still continuing the follow up path of name and its objective as preached by the founding father themselves thank you sir